Good morning and welcome to the American Heart Association's Greater Westerly Heart Walk Digital Experience 2020. I am Jonay Nichelle, Miss Rhode Island USA 2020 and former Patriots cheerleader, and I'm honored to be with all of you this morning as we walk to raise life-saving funds for the American Heart Association. Today, we're asking you all to walk or move wherever you are. That could be a walk around the neighborhood, it could be jumping jacks in your living room, or a dance party with your kids. However you do it, just move. I know I'll be moving today. My goal is to get you all out and walking wherever you are. Share pictures and videos of how you are moving with the hashtag GreaterWesterlyHW and post them here in the Facebook event page. There, we will be sharing healthy tips and fun experiences throughout the day. If you would like to make a donation, it is so easy. Just text Westerly HW to 41444. Now let's lace up and kick off our amazing digital program. Hello, I'm Renee Aloisio, Chair of the American Heart Association Southern New England Board of Directors, joining you from Westerly, Rhode Island. Today is a celebration and a time to express our gratitude to all who made today possible. COVID-19 has changed the way we live our lives. The American Heart Association has invested $3 million in a rapid response fund to address the need to know how this virus affects heart and stroke patients. At the American Heart Association, the mission is simple, to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. At the Westerly Heart Walk, we bring to life the mission by getting out there, getting active, and pledging to stay healthy for good. And that is as important today as ever. Of course, we couldn't have an event as special and successful as this without the help of leadership here in the Westerly community. At this time, we want to recognize our Heart Walk executive leadership team for 2020. Let's take a moment and give them a round of applause. Thank you. We appreciate your hard work and dedication. Today's experience couldn't be possible without the support of our amazing sponsors. We are grateful for your unwavering support. A special thank you to Washington Trust, our Pet Pal Stop sponsor. Thank you for your generosity and participation. All of us want to see your furry friends too. So post your pet's best photos using hashtag GreaterWesterlyHW. And don't forget to share your selfies too. Now it's my pleasure to welcome our 2020 Greater Westerly Heart Walk Survivor Speaker, Andy DiLoretto. Andy, thank you for sharing your story. My journey began in 2006 when at the age of 40, I was diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse, which led me to open heart surgery in 2008. Needless to say, I felt a lot better after the surgery, and I quickly resumed normal activities. Nine months following the surgery, in July of 2009, I was participating in a triathlon. I experienced severe chest pain, shortness of breath, nausea, and fatigue. This is important because a week later, while out for a bike ride with my wife, I had a stroke on the side of Route 1 right here in Westerly. I was unable to speak and could not feel anything on my right side. I was taken to Wesley Hospital and it was there that I recall feeling scared for the first time. A CAT scan confirmed stroke. They diagnosed and transferred me to a facility that was equipped to handle my case. After every test imaginable, it was determined I was in heart failure due to a virus, which explains my symptoms from the triathlon. I recovered quickly with only mild physical residual. And three months later, I was pretty much back to myself. In fact, I followed up with two more triathlons in 2010 to prove to myself what I could do with a healthy heart. Fast forwarding to 2011, with all of this behind me and only taking one aspirin a day, I had my second stroke. But there were some big differences. The first one is that I was in Europe. The second is that the symptoms were much, much different. Sudden onset of confusion, dizziness, and a severe headache, but I had no physical limitations. 
I was taken to a hospital in Rome where stroke was once more confirmed. Looking back that same morning, I was in St. Peter's Square, and just like everyone else on the fourth Sunday of every month, I was blessed by the Pope. So I had that going for me. Needless to say, we were all shocked. Uh, my company, I was on a, on a personal slash business trip, uh, took me home on a private jet uh, with my dad and others. When I returned, this stroke ended up being far more impactful than the first. I had cognitive impairments, visual memory loss, and some eyesight loss. Much of this was not detectable while in Europe. To this day, I still do not have any answers, and I'm okay with that. After a bunch more tests, I remain a mystery, but it hasn't stopped me. Outside of Kuman and for life, I have no restrictions. What I did learn is that heart disease and stroke do not discriminate. You can be young, you can be healthy with no family history, which emphasizes the importance of preventive care, as well as what we're talking about today in being heart healthy. As in my previous events, I got back to normal life and I feel great. I'm 53 now. I have a beautiful wife of, of 20, almost 29 years. Life is really good. But it was a few years after all of these events when talking my, to my neurologist, and she suggested that there was a need for survivor volunteers. And what I found out quickly was opportunities were endless, and that's when I became involved. I feel a great debt of gratitude to the medical professionals, but also the American Heart Association that does so much for all citizens. I'm proud to be a voice as a member of the Rhode Island Advocacy Committee, the Rhode Island Stroke Task Force, I attended lobby days both in, in Connecticut and Rhode Island, as well as Washington, D.C. I've also testified for, survivor, for survivors uh, for legislative bills in both Connecticut and Rhode Island. Today is so important to celebrate the opportunity to be active. I love the fact that there is something for everyone, you know, from a hearty run to a, to a brisk walk, a bike, or just walking around the block or a stroll down the street. Whatever it is that you feel comfortable doing, is what we are advocating today. All activities count, so let's do it. I urge everyone to remain thankful for everything we have and to remain safe. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Wow, what a powerful story. Thank you so much, Andy, for opening your heart and sharing your journey with us. As we have mentioned, if you have not already donated, we would love for you to consider donating today. Just text Westerly HW to 41444. Life is made up of special moments, and together, each step we make today raises funds for science that helps us live longer, be healthier, and make more moments possible. We thank you all for your support. Now, please rise and remove your hats for the singing of the national anthem by Raquel Perez. Hello everyone, my name is Raquel Perez and I hope you have all been staying healthy. Today I will be singing the National Anthem for the American Heart Association. Oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the that our flag was still there. 
know I'm ready to get out and start walking. Our goal today is for every walker to try and walk at least 30 minutes. Quick reminder, you can still donate. Just text Westerly HW to 41444. Be sure to share your selfies with us. Make sure to make your posts public so we can see them as well. Use the hashtag GreaterWesterlyHW. So let's get out and get moving for the 2020 Greater Westerly HeartWalk Digital Experience. Thank you so much for joining me today. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five,